Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Things are quiet, if not chilly in the Mid-South. We do still have a few snow showers out there for this evening, but really not much more than that. And we may see the potential for some more snow showers coming our way as we get into the course of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here again in just a little bit. We do see, again, the potential for some heavier amounts of snowfall as we get into around Monday night, Tuesday morning. Unfortunately, over the last several hours, the computer model have started to kind of knock down the possibilities of snow out there. Not getting rid of it entirely, but we are seeing some reductions in amounts, which is typical as we get into these systems. It can look really good several days away, but then as you get a little bit closer to everything, we start to see again the potential for a lot less as the system kind of comes into focus as it is. So we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. If you got any plans for outdoors this week, you got some very cold weather back on the way. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Plus, again, the potential for snowfall is out there, but better chances for some nicer weather, as in warmer conditions in the Mid-South. We'll talk about that as well, so stick around for more there coming up in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in. If you've never been here before, welcome to the show. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you'd like to get more, even more information, can't stick around for the whole forecast, follow the blue bar down in the lower section of the screen as you can watch again the forecast information scrolling on by, or go to this website website, wreg.com slash weather, and you can get the seven-day forecast and a whole bunch more information into and around the area as we go into the next couple of days. Again, great website to check out for more on that. And if there's something on here you'd like to see that we're not covering, I'd love to be able to feature it, but I can't do so unless you let me know about that. The psychic powers don't really work too well. So again, email me here at austin.onic at wreg.com, and love to have you along for the ride on that. All right, let's go ahead and get started this evening with a little bit of some traffic news right back around the area close to Church Road into and around uh, just south of Goodman Road. We've got, had a pretty good backup for this evening. Now the good news is that the travel at this time at just past 8 o'clock has really improved. The backup was almost all the way back up to State Line Road and Rasco Road. It looks like that has improved at this point in time. Information from the m.traffic.com uh, system at this time. And the good news at this point, Goodman Road right across I-55 here. Traffic, it looks like, is a lot better back into that general direction. We've had no reports of any accidents, but we did have a major backup taking place about an hour or so ago. And as of right now, it looks like traffic is moving along pretty well on the Baptist DeSoto camera in and around South Haven. Heading out the door tomorrow, making it a day on for service. Again, looking like it is going to be pretty well on the chilly side to start things off. Now, this forecast is meant for roughly Shelby County and the Memphis metro area, but we are going to see, again, the potential for some cloudy skies out there and some snow showers tomorrow. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Forgot to mention, some of you are already doing it. Uh, 23 degrees in Covington. Patrick Phillips, thank you very much for that. Drop your location and your weather reports if you have them. If you got that thermometer outside the kitchen window, maybe you got that weather station for Christmas and it's up and working. Working. Let us know what the conditions are like and where you're checking in from in the Mid-South or points beyond. So thank you again a much for everybody for checking in for this evening. Chances of snow, again, not seeing a lot as we get into tomorrow. We will see better chances past sunset. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Mainly in the three-day forecast, temperatures tomorrow will be warmer than what they've been over the last few days. Lower 40s expected as we go into tomorrow, but chances of snow showers Yes and no, depending on where you're located. We'll get to that coming up in just a bit. More snow showers on Tuesday, much colder conditions coming our way, and then back into the mid-20s for highs as we get toward Wednesday, and a very nice warm-up after that toward the end of this next week. We'll stick around for more on that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Vicki Haley. Not the one I went to high school with. Maybe at Stanton, Tennessee, 25 degrees. Thanks for joining us tonight. 32 in Whiteville. Deborah Phillips, Diana Stacy, 27 in Blytheville tonight. Thank you very much for that. 27 in Middleton. Teresa Esther, if my bifocals are reading that correctly. And April Elise... Adams Hamilton, 27 in Olive Branch. Thank you very much uh, for those weather reports. There are a lot of weather reports checking in for tonight. Thank you guys very much on that. Currently in Oxford at the University of Mississippi, almost ready to gear up for the next semester, and the student union shining brightly in the darkness down there, but not much in the way of flurries taking place. Likewise in Germantown, Poplar and Mendenhall Towers, Poplar Pike and Germantown Parkway, and the water towers just north of Germantown High School. Fairly clear view for tonight. 
Not as cold as it was this morning, but getting chilly once again with 29 degrees, minimal winds, and not that much of a wind chill for this evening. Live view of I-40 and Witten Road. Traffic lighter than what it was earlier. Very heavy Sunday evening travel, and a lot of people out and about this evening, but that number has been diminishing into the last couple of hours as traffic kind of settles down by just a little bit out there. Now, currently, again, across much of the area, we're not seeing a lot we do have a few snow flurries taking place. Notice the, again, echoes showing up here, Dyersburg, back on up toward Real Foot Lake, and a couple of other areas showing a little bit more in the way of some snow showers taking place. Very light in nature, several thousand feet up, so a lot of this is falling into very dry air down toward the surface. So a lot of what you're seeing here, you're probably not going to see much more than a snowflake or two at this time because of that air, dry air just eroding all those snowflakes. And most of them just go poof on the way down. So there's not really that much left over from a lot of that. Now ramping up the sensitivity on the regional radar, you can see a lot more of this activity now crossing the Mississippi River, heading on down to the east-southeast, but not that much going on back to the west of us. And in fact, this latest round crossing the river at this time, that's going to be about it for the chance of any snow showers out there. Very light in nature to begin with. There's just not that much moisture out there for right now, but will be a lot more coming up into the couple next couple of days. And again, we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. Now into tomorrow, snow chances. If you take tonight and the snow showers we've got that I just showed you as number one, storm system number two will be passing us to the north into tomorrow. That'll be our second storm system in as many days. And from Pennsylvania to Kansas. We've got winter weather advisories. These are issued for, again, a variety of different types of winter weather. So if you're heading anywhere north of the Boot Hill, anywhere north of the Arkansas-Missouri state line, anywhere north of western Kentucky, you may see some heavier amounts of snow showers up here. Notice there's nothing going on for the Mid-South yet, but as we get into tomorrow, it's a sneaking suspicion that we may see, again, a lot more warnings and advisories taking place into the Mid-South. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit into the Mid-South area. Let's see, McKenzie, Tennessee, snow falling, light snow falling, 26 degrees. Jonathan Gaskins, thank you very much for that. Still ice in Bells, Tennessee. Leanne Hayes, thank you. Munford, Tennessee. Pamela King, thank you very much, 25 degrees there. And Olivia Connor, 27, in Henderson, Tennessee, and a lot of ice on the roadway. Still will be that out there, so please keep that in mind, especially with temperatures like this. A couple of areas managed to get over freezing. Most of the Mid-South stayed below freezing. We did get just enough ambient heat to get some more ice melted off, but there's still going to be icy patches into tomorrow. So if you have to go to work tomorrow, it is going to be, again, some dicey patches out there, uh, again, for traveling purposes. So please keep that in mind. Temperatures right now in the mid-upper 20s and wind chills back into the teens. Running the numbers through News Channel 3 at 10 as we go into tomorrow morning. Numbers back into the 20s. Not quite as chilly because of those winds coming up out of the south. So that's going to help to kind of buffer the temperatures a little bit. Now into tomorrow, late during the morning. Dyersburg, Real Foot Lake, the Boot Hill, northeast Arkansas. You're going to be seeing better chances of snow showers. That's storm system number two. But most of the area should be too warm for anything but just rain and maybe rain mixed with a little bit of some snowflakes. Now notice it gets right about to the metro area. And that's about as far south as it gets. Most of this storm system, the energy with this is going to go barreling on over toward the east coast and is not going to be stopping to hang around for quite some time. So temperatures will actually be pretty mild. And for the metro area, notice at this time that we have that rain-snow mixture coming right about to the Shelby County north area around Millington, right back around to Toka, Munford in that area. Now, again, this could change into the rest of the day tomorrow, but mainly going to be seeing areas north of I-40 picking up that chance of rain mixed with snow, and temperatures should be too warm for anything but that chance into tomorrow. Now, that's storm system number two. Number three, the energy comes in from out of the southwest as well as a little bit more warm, moist air, so more chances of rain mixed with or changing over to a rain-snow mixture happening as we go toward dinner time and drive home time for those of you who have to work tomorrow. Then, as we get into late tomorrow evening, more chances of snow showers start to develop 
past about News Channel 3 at 10 into and around midnight. And that's where we see, again, the snow chances really start to ramp up by just a bit. It doesn't look like a huge snowmaker, but it will be seeing, again, better chances of snow coming through, and the temperatures will be looking better as well. Last week on Friday, the temperatures of the, at the atmosphere is not the same thing all the way up to the edge of space. There's areas that get warmer, areas that get colder, and down where we are close to the surface, all it takes is just a tiny little bit of warm air to really mess up a forecast where there's snow coming down, melts as liquid rainfall, it's too warm there, and then down toward the surface, it freezes on contact as freezing rain or it refreezes as sleet. This time around, it looks like the atmosphere is primed for just plain snowfall. We don't see anything right now in the way of freezing rain or sleet coming down. Good news in and of itself, but Again, the potential does exist for maybe some more of that out there, especially as we go with that warmer air that we just showed you about a couple of hours ago. So from Tuesday night into around very early Tuesday morning, we get the chance of snow showers sticking around. Unfortunately, right about the time the school buses start to roll and right about the time a lot of people head back to work on Tuesday morning. This could mean some slick spots out there. Again, this could be a bit of a problem into the Mid-South for driving and, again, could be possibly not saying it now but again could be some school districts that may be making the decision to close down for those of you who have been asking uh, into and around the area for the last couple of uh, statements on the uh, comments section I don't know if they're going to cancel school that's not my department I can just give you the forecast it's up to the superintendents and the people who are in charge of doing that at your particular school district so you got to wait for them to tell us here at News Channel 3 what the, the decision is I'd love to be be able to tell you ahead of time, but really, honestly, I don't know what that's going to happen with the school districts out there. I appreciate that much faith in me, but again, I can't tell you that at this point in time, so something to think about there. Janet Jackson, another three to six inches of snow, not going to be happening at this time. Uh, sorry about that. Not really looking at anything really that big. What exactly are we looking at? Well, as the storm clears the area, takes the chances of snow right along with it. We'll be looking at some much colder weather heading our way as we go into the teens by Tuesday evening. And again, could be looking at some much colder weather as we go toward about Wednesday morning or so. All right, the rundown as we go into Monday night, Tuesday morning. Main threats are going to be the potential of snowfall, not seeing freezing rain, not seeing sleet at this time. Again, windy and colder into the evening. It's going to be a lot colder on Tuesday than it was on Monday. So prepare ahead for some much colder conditions on Tuesday. How much colder? We'll talk about that in just a little bit. And could be, again, those travel impacts Tuesday morning as the school buses start to head out of the lots and start to pick up the kids. We'll tell you if there are any closings in the next couple of days. Timing on this, again, Monday evening through about midnight Tuesday could be the potential of some flurries going on. Through about midnight Tuesday into about 6 o'clock in the morning, we could be looking at that's the heaviest portion of snow, and then the snow chances dwindle as we head into Tuesday evening. But it may be enough for the potential here in the dark blue shaded area. This is just one computer model's opinion. And again, the worst of the worst looks like it's going to be happening in southwest Tennessee, northwest Mississippi, and back into southeastern Arkansas. In this area, it's possible to see about an inch to an inch and a half. I would not be surprised to see a couple of areas with maybe be about two inches or so. But here's the thing about this. These numbers will change over the last few days. The amount of snow that the computer models have been predicting has been steadily dropping. That's what happens with these systems coming on through. As they get closer, we are able to focus in on what goes on. And this right here is a very optimistic estimate. So right now, again, some areas of the Mid-South could pick up that much. Mainly it's going to be from roughly about a half an inch to an inch. And in the lighter blue shaded categories here, we may see about a half an inch to an inch total. And then up around Dyersburg, Blytheville, Jonesboro, you may get even less than that. But you may already have some stuff on the ground from that stuff that's coming through early tomorrow morning. So don't forget about that coming on through. These numbers will change. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 again online and on air for the latest weather information out there. Now, for the holiday tomorrow... Again, most of the area should be just partly to mostly cloudy off and on through the day, and we should be looking for temperatures back into the lower 40s. Again, that's a little bit below normal, but for the volunteers going out across the Mid-South to make the Mid-South a better place for the day on for service, first of all, thank you very much for doing that. And secondly, looking a lot better than what it was a few days ago when we had temperatures in the 30s and rainfall coming down. So this forecast looks a lot better there. Now, snow chances north of I-40, again, what we showed you for tomorrow, into and around that area, and then 
more snow for everybody as we go through a dinner time tomorrow night and into very early on Tuesday. Much colder temperatures, 20 degrees cooler by the time we head into Tuesday. And it looks like, again, some windy conditions out there, so some low wind chills diminishing to flurries as we head home from work or school by the time we hit Tuesday. Now, on Wednesday morning at the bus stop, we'll be looking at temperatures very close to the single digits, just the regular air temperature, the regular ambient air temperatures going on. Winds around the back side of this system are going to be pretty breezy. So by the time the kids hit the bus stop Wednesday morning, we could be looking at sub-zero wind chill temperatures. Now again, at some point, cold is cold is cold, but this is going to be pretty brutal. This could be even colder than the last couple of weeks that we saw going into the holidays. So please be prepared ahead for the possibility of some brutally cold weather coming up by the time we hit midweek. A lot of sunshine as we head into the end of the week and temperatures improve very nicely. 40s by the time we hit Friday, getting into around the 50s, even close to 60 degrees by next weekend. And chances of showers will be moving on through there and staying in the 50s, but at least we'll get a little bit more sunshine out there as we go into the next several days after that. So looking again a little bit better out there. So once again, for most of the Mid-South, looking at snow chances late, late Monday into around most of the morning on Tuesday and some parts of the Mid-South on Monday late morning early afternoon north of the metro area could pick up a rain snow mixture and that's why those winter weather advisories are in effect back to the north of us so that could change and we could get some of those advisories as well going into the course of the next couple of days so definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. We'll have more details coming up on your complete forecast in just about a little bit less than 90 minutes into around News Channel 3 at 10, so you want to stick around for that. We'll have more details. Zanetta, Zanetta Lowe will have more with the news. Mike Sadie's got a busy day in sports, and of course, I'll have your forecast coming up. Once again, if you have questions or concerns or ideas, please let me know on my social media networks or email me at austin.onic at wrag.com, and we'll have another email or another uh, weather overtime coming up on my personal Facebook page, and that'll be at the bottom of the hour at about 8.33, so stay tuned for more on that. Again, join us on News Channel 3 at 10. Todd Demers has an update on your forecast coming up bright and early on Monday morning, so join him starting at 4.30 for updates on the complete forecast. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee on Sunday evening, January 14th, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online.